Right, easy one for today. Just going to change the diff oil uh, front and rear. Same process for each. You could do with a 10mm socket like that. That's what uh, fits the best, providing what you've got in your diffs isn't all chewed up. Uh, if you haven't got one of them, you can just put a socket straight in. Uh, it's usually close enough. If they're not in too tight, that will take them out. Always do your top one first. Uh, there's no putting drain in the oil if you can't top it back up again. I have actually pre-loosened this one just to make sure sure we don't rip anywhere right, that's that out this bottom one I have pre-loosened um, before I got the camera out because it was an absolute pig. Uh, this is the one that takes all the abuse, you know, if you're hitting anything or it gets caked up in mud. Uh, I did put a bit of WD 40 type stuff on it uh, for 10 minutes before I started this. I will have to change this plug at some point because it is getting a bit chewed up. As you're looking at this from the front, you're basically moving the end of your bar towards the wheel on your left. Just in case you can't work out which way is undo, because you don't want to be tightening it up like I may have been doing earlier. There may be a little bit of water in that. That's a bit on the milky side. What we'll do, we'll leave that for about half an hour now, just to drain out as much as we can before we start filling it back up. Get rid of much of that uh, crappy oil as uh, as is possible. Yeah, that's gone down to a, a very very slow drip now. Um, I could do getting this out of the way, so I'm just going to get uh, get this finished off. When you're refitting, I know some people put a bit of sealant on it or Loctite or something like that. Um, on the outer edge, I'm just trying a bit of copper grease to see if that makes it a bit easier to sort out next time this job needs doing. Now let's get it topped back up. Right. I would normally use uh, a syringe to put the oil back in here, um, but the sealy one that I've used 
maybe half a dozen times has completely given up now that didn't last very long at all and I keep forgetting to buy a new one so we'll just be putting uh, a bit of hose pipe in there funnel on the other end and we'll just pour it in until we go uh, just remember for the diffs on these cars you need an EP8090 and that's a GL5 one final thing before we go uh, when you refill in just remember keep going until it starts dripping out of the filler plug that's when you know it's full hope this has helped you so uh, you can get on and do your own see you on the next one